And I'm gonna jump back over to me for a second because I'm gonna now introduce Eugenia Yaretskaya, who is gonna lead us through this make and take. So while I'm talking, you know, get your workspace ready. Make sure you've got your butterflies cut out. If you haven't already, uh, get your glue. You might need your scissors a little bit more. Um, and uh, Eugenia, you know, she's been working at Up With Paper and Jumping Jack Press for a while, uh, serving as a uh, director of paper engineering. And she's got a pile of titles under her belt. She had a gorgeous Nutcracker adaptation in 2018. Late last year, she has a book about um, uh, snowflakes called Flurry. And um, all right, here's the secret maybe you don't know about Eugenia is that she develops piles of Halloween costumes for her family every year and shows them on the socials and they're spectacular. So um, Eugenia, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump this over to you. And <laughs> we're gonna do the, do the scroll down because your name starts with Y. <laughs> and you're, you've got 120 some people in front of you. There we go, there you are. Go, all you. All right, so my name is Evgenia. I am a paper engineer uh, and designer and illustrator. And today we're going to make a little pop-up card. Um, I know that some of you haven't really been uh, familiar with pop-ups and some of you have a lot of experience building them. So I try to keep things simple, um, but still have an element of fun and whimsy to it. Um, so there are basic two folds that we're gonna work with. One is a step fold and one is a V fold, like so. And we're gonna use two of these folds to create multiple layers and make that pop up like so. This is your basic step fold, but if you cut into it, there are two step folds. Hope you can see that. Okay. So for this, you're going to need uh, your printed two sheets of paper where you hopefully have already cut out butterflies because that's gonna take a little while. And the other piece of paper looks like this and has two crease lines running across. Um, I made it so you can just connect the corners and fold. If you wanna pre-crease on those lines using um, a pencil that does not have a uh, tip or a bone folder, if you have experience with that sort of thing. Or in my case, I use a need knitting needle use a ruler and pre-crease. If you don't have any of that, that's no problem. You can just connect the corners and crease. And then the other way, you're going to connect the corners and crease. This way you can see the outside over here has all the die lines and all the numbers, which I will explain in a little bit. And from this point on, we're gonna do some cutting. You will need scissors. And I'm going to show you how. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut on the outer line, this big semicircle here, which has been folded, it's gonna mirror. Um, it's not going to be perfect if you're doing this way, but for the sake of a quick assembly, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to go down this line over here with scissors. I'm gonna do that with you. Ready? All the way to the crease line over here. And now the fun begins. First, we're going to cut up this cut line all the way to the crease and stop. And 
and then just fold it where you see the crease line. So it will look like this. Make sure it's nice and creased. And if I'm going to go too fast, please slow me down, but I'm trying to uh, get through this presentation in 10 minutes. So, <laughs> um, the next crease line you're going to fold on is right under it. Like so, and then unfold again. So now you have one cut and two creases right here, fold it over. The next line over here has a V fold on it. So we're going to fold down on this line. Right here. And then we're going to take our scissors and cut down on this semicircle over here. Right here, I just made a little cut here on this line and I folded it again. Okay, I'm gonna unfold the whole thing and fold down on the last crease right on the bottom here, the biggest one that has three um, different pops, right? Two, three. The V fold, the step fold, and a combination of two, because if you continue doing this, you're gonna come to a V as well. So it looks like a step, but it's actually a V. Now, from the corner of where you cut on the larger semicircle to where that crease line ends, you're going to fold over and crease. And then you're gonna take your scissors and we're going to cut down on the pink lines. There are five of them. Again, they may not match up when you unfold it because of the nature of paper and the fact that it shifts a little bit, but it should make a pretty um, mirrored image on the other side. So, ready? The semicircle. Two little straight lines where it says D. And on the B, they're slightly curved. There we go. And now that you got them all pre-cut, you're gonna fold down on the crease lines again. I'm gonna flip it upside down here. Uh, hopefully you can see, and the V fold. And let's see. Okay. So it's going to take a little moment because at this point our paper has been folded many, many times and it's a little thicker than what we usually used to. Again, this is something you can also do with exacto blade following the die lines, but this is the way, um, it is the easiest way for us to cut it and still get similar effects. So now I am unfolded all of these back into my original state. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna pop this whole thing open, bend it in half, and pop the big V fold upwards like this. And since it's all symmetrical, the pieces are just going to fall in place like this. So you have a giant semicircle in the middle of your page. And you're going to start by popping out these cuts that you made on the bottom forward. On 
on both sides. So here they are on one side, and here they are still in there. So we're going to pop them forward. Use your fingers. You can use the tip of your pencil or scissors, whatever is more comfortable. So that's your lowest layer of pop-up. And this is where we're going to do some gluing. We're going to open this guy up. And you're going to put glue on all the parts over here that are going to attach themselves to the other page. So try and I'm going to use actually this uh, purple glue stick so you can actually see where I'm putting the glue. Thank you, my five-year-old. Um, so, let me do really quick. I can show you where it goes. Apologies, I can't do it mid-air. <laughs> okay. So, the glue is everywhere, folds down, flat, and then you pop up and all the pieces pops forward. Your basic structure will be standing like this. And then we're going to do some back and forth with the other V folds. There's one, two, and three. I'm going to take this first V coming off the ground over here. I'm going to push it back and close up the card again. Every time you make an adjustment to your paper, you close the card, you open it again. It usually um, allows you to give, um, to have the paper remember where it goes. So have a forward, a backwards. And then this next V, and pop it back. I mean, pop it forward, sorry. Like that. And then this last one, you will push back. I'm going to do this really slowly so you can see that all the pieces go back and forth. So now you have the base on which we're going to glue all the butterflies. Wherever you see purple, and a an, uh, letter that marks where the butterflies are going to go. Oh, I forgot one more. There are two little V-folds here and here. I'm going to push them back. One and two. There we go. Now all of the pieces are in there. Okay, so now um, the sheet that has the butterfly templates, I cut out my purple ones and put them on top of the pieces that have the gray outlines with numbers. I mean, not numbers, the letters on them, pardon me. And that's what we're going to match to the letters that are on this structure. I like to start with the largest one. It's an A. This one has a crease in the middle. So we're gonna just line it up and crease it down the middle. Then since uh, the areas are shown in purple, I'm gonna use a different kind of glue, but I'm gonna put a dot of glue on each purple area here, right here. And I am going to add my first butterfly.
right here. Make sure the crease lines on the butterfly align with the crease line of the pop-up. That way, when you close it, it folds right in. And when you open it, it will smoothly pop back out. And here you go. There's our first butterfly. So now I choose my second butterfly. And I will choose uh, butterfly E. Those are the two butterflies that live on the bottom here. They also have creases down the middle. So we're going to pick out our butterflies that have E on them. And we're going to fold them right down the middle. That's one. And that's two. And there are two purple areas, one on top of the V fold right here, and one right next to it on the bottom, on the base of the card. You want to put two glue dots. And again, align the crease of the butterfly with the crease of the structure that it's sitting on. Right here. There's a butterfly E number one and butterfly E number two. Here they are. Once I place them, I close my card again, make sure the glue sticks, the butterflies are in place and all the creases are aligned. And then I open it again. Here they are. And the fun part about V folds and putting butterfly wings on them is that they open and close in such a way that makes them look like they're flapping their wings. All right. And now we can proceed with the rest of the butterflies. Next butterfly we're going to put on is butterfly C. Those are the tiny little butterflies that live on these two little V folds right under the big butterfly in the middle. So they do exactly the same thing. I take my glue and I put a glue dot on my purple areas that have C on them. And take the wings of my butterflies and align them over here with the purple underneath. Just make sure that they don't stick out because when you're going to close it, you want the wings to um, not be smooshed by the creases. So I'm going to put them on here, show you how, like that. So they're looking out like this. And then once I place them in, I'm going to close the card again very gently and make sure they hold in place. And the glue is keeping them in place. So next, I am going to place the butterfly in the middle. It's another one that has a crease on it. It's the butterfly F. So I'm going to grab that one. Over here, how will you see the F? It's going to go upside down. So we're going to put some glue right on the area that says F. And we take our creased butterfly over here in half. And we're going to unfold it. And it's going to be upside down, upside down to this big butterfly here. It's going to go over here. Make sure to line up its little nose over here where the antennas would grow out of with the tip of the V-fold here. You don't want it to stick out further than that. So just here. There you go. It's in. Its crease is lined up with the middle crease of this card. And I'm going to close the card again. Make sure everything still folds down where it should. And open again. So 
So we have four more butterflies to put in. I'm gonna start with the butterfly D. Those are big ones over here. I took off my handy dandy um, template over here. And I'm going to put glue again where it says D. Just be careful under the tiny little butterflies. I like to do the tiny little butterflies first because they're just so much more delicate. The bigger ones are easier to place, but you can do them in different order once you get used to it. And we're going to align the wing of the butterfly with the purple shape underneath. And like that. They are flying downwards like this. Two butterflies. And once I align those, I will close the card again. So each step, we close and open the card. And these are the last two, butterfly B, and it goes on the two sides over here. I'm gonna repeat the process, glue. Butterfly, these are not creased, so we just place them right here, align them with the shape, the purple shape underneath. Hopefully they are helpful. Do, 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 do. over here and I'm going to close this card again for hopefully the last time as far as the building of this card goes. Make sure not to put too much glue on it because you don't want to glue your card shut and once you're done you should come up with your flying butterflies. 